morning, everyone. Welcome to the Crimson Training Camp. Today, we're going to discuss with you uh, one of the aspects of how to improve your employability skills. To do that, I'm not going to tell you, tell you our topic straight away at the start. Please watch the video first. During the video, please keep one question in mind. How much do you think I win or lose? Come on, man. 
just sold you that. Leave it on the top. Okay. Righty. Check out fast. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, this is brilliant. 
right answer. Uh, because then he bought the necklace for 80 pounds. If he directly sells it for 110 pounds, he can earn 30 pounds profit. But he didn't. From answer two, he only get 10 pounds profit in life, which also means he has lost 20 pounds potential profit. Okay, after the explanation of different answers, now I'd like to turn to my colleague to talk about our topic today, uh, divergent thinking theory. Okay, I will talk about it. So why is that? The bias answer is minus 20. Because at first, she got uh, 10 pounds, and then sold it by five, and uh, I think he lose the transaction cost is minus 20. Okay, and she also means that if I got patients and uh, <laughs> things get more, then maybe I can just get 30 pounds per way. This is what I lose. <laughs> yeah, all right. Published couple of years ago, divergent thinking isn't the same thing as creativity. I define creativity as the, the process of having original ideas that have value. Divergent thinking isn't a synonym, but it's a an essential capacity for creativity. It's the ability to see lots of possible answers to a question, lots of possible ways of interpreting a question, uh, to think what Adam de Bono would probably call laterally, uh, to think not just in linear or convergent ways, uh, to see multiple answers, not one. All right, the goal of divergent thinking is to generate different ideas that about a topic in a cell type, breaking the topic down into diverse component parts of the topic in order to gain insights about different aspects of the topic. For example, in the trading, the result is not only limited by my colleagues' explanation. On the government's aspects, it also contributes to the growth of GDP, which includes all the price insights. So, divergent thinking is the process of for generating related idea or solution to a problem which is different from creative thinking. Uh, the technique to simulate divergent thinking, I think first, is to bring a brainstorming and then keep a, keep a journal. It's a, an efficient way to keep the record. That's why we brought the memory height as a gift for you guys. And third, uh, and third I think it's uh, uh, free writing. When you write, you can when you write, you can think on the topic and write what you are what you are what you are thinking and finally packing your mind and subjects. All right. Let's see Professor Dave's explanation about divergent thinking. It's called the crow and the pitcher. A thirsty crow discovers a pitcher with water in the bottom of it, and try as she might, she simply cannot reach the water that's in the bottom of the pitcher to get a drink. Discouraged, the crow does not give up. Instead, she begins to gather nearby pebbles and drops these pebbles one by one into the pitcher. Of course, with each pebble, the water level rises slightly, and eventually, the crow can drink the water from the top of the pitcher. Now, Aesop would say that the moral of this story is necessity is the mother of invention. Keep that in mind for a few minutes, and we'll return to it uh, momentarily. I'd also like to speak about creative thinking. And when I speak of creativity, I don't mean creativity only in an artistic sense. Uh, rather, I mean the sort of creative thinking we have in the everyday, uh, at home, at work, and at school. Uh, this sort of creative, t creative thinking uh, is not limited to artistic expression, but we find it in problem solving as well. Some experts refer to this as divergent thinking. And divergent thinking is when you look at all of the possible solutions to a problem uh, including unconventional and creative solutions. Here we come to the conclusion. 
Now, we've got a clear idea of what we're trying to say today. Open your mind, explore your brain, turn them into a thinking storm. Think of as many possible outcomes as you can when you deal with everything. By doing that, you can not only see that I was the actual stupid person in the video, but also to, to light up your life, your employability skills, and um, your, your career, of course. Ladies and gentlemen, brain, brain is the, the new